her brothers and sisters. Let's talk about the history, the Revolutionary War, Civil War, the history that we did not know. That war was instigated but by Rothschilds, the Illuminati. Here's the information. It says here, when this nation was founded prior to the Declaration of Independence, this nation was a colony of England. There were many people who arrived on this continent with the hopes of, being, of beginning a new life. Many of these people were fleeing Europe from deaths or from crimes that many of them were considered as criminals. At that time, Benjamin Franklin went to England for a visit. He, he made a remark that the United States was profiting because they only minted as much money as they needed and because they minted their own money. Someone had heard um, Benjamin Franklin about his remark who worked for the Rothschilds. He then conveyed the message to the Rothschilds and then the Rothschilds directed this message to King George to not allow any colonies to mint their own monies that they have to use the British script. It led to a revolutionary war. The country of England was had been taken over through its indebtedness due to the war in Spain. The indebtedness being to the Rothschild's banking system which was in collaboration with the Illuminati. There were certain elements relating to um, Madison, Thomas Jefferson, Lafayette, George Washington, and Benjamin Franklin. They were aware of the banking controls and the manipulation of nations by the Rothschilds. And for this reason, they created the Constitution in attempting to guarantee freedoms for individuals. The Constitution was put together with three branches, the executive legislative and judicial branch in order to divide the power among the three, these three branches. They should have also created the financial branch which was controlled by the people but failed to do so rather they had the Constitution written that Congress would control the money. That Congress not only had the right to mint and coin money, but also have the right to legislate and make laws, which allowed Congress to be manipulated at a future time into giving away or voting away its right to mind and coin money and turning this over to the Federal Reserve Bank. They got tricked. 
now during that time at the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was faced with a need to finance his troops for the Civil War. This Civil War was staged and set up by the Illuminati, whereby they brought the slaves from Africa to the southern plantations in order to create an atmosphere that would lead that would lead to an issue which could be used for setting up a war which would divide the nation. The newspapers of that time being controlled by the Illuminati began to build up a background and the attitude among the northerners to set the states for civil war. Abraham Lincoln, attempting to finance his troops, sought money from the banks and was told that it, it would cost him 26% in interest. Woo, that's very high. Abraham Lincoln then turned to the Constitution and printed the Lincoln Green Box, which was used for financing his armies. During that time, the British and French, both being controlled by the Illuminati, prepared to invade the United States. However, the Tsar of Russia, who was a good friend of Abraham Lincoln, warned these two nations that they would be forced to fight Russia if they invaded the United States. This had prevented from occurring and the Union armies won the Civil War. This then led the Illuminati to its prepared efforts to take over the country of the United States through the, bank, the banking processes of the Federal Reserve System and to take over the Russian Empire through its planned evolutionary war. Now the next topic is the um, Rockefellers and other bankers set up Illuminati planned Federal Reserve Banking System. In 1905, Henry Morgan, Paul Warburg, Nelson Aldrich, a senator from New York, these three, along with Jacob Skiff, John D. Rockefeller, and other severals, these people went to uh, went secretly by train, then by boat, to Jekyll Island in New York. These entities meeting there for some time discussing a plan for an economic system that would allow the banking establishment to control the money of this nation. They had developed a program which was already written from the Illuminati and presented by Paul Warburg and adapted to the needs of their purposes. This being presented as the Aldrich Plan. Majority of members of the press and Congress objected, knowing that Aldrich worked for the Wall Street bankers. Therefore, they objected to this plan, feeling that they would not benefit to the, of the people. They then return and work on an alternative plan. They revised it, presenting this as the 
People's Plan. This became the Federal Reserve System. Tricky, huh? The Federal Reserve System was passed in Congress on Christmas Eve, when most of the Congress had already left to go home, except for those few working with them who passed this Federal Reserve Plan. This was intended to prevent any further run on the banks or any form of crisis in the economies of this country. They do this all the time in the government. When they want someone to be signed, they always waited until it's a holiday when majority of the members had left. Bush did this a few times. So, I guess I'll stop for now because um, it got longer. This is just a good information to share with you brothers and sisters. The real history of the um, Civil War, the Revolutionary War, were the 13 original states um, were established. Why 13? One for its 13 powerful banking families. And our Confederate flags, it had 13 stars. It, it represent the 13 powerful banking families, which is the elites, the Illuminati. I'll stop for now. I love you all, brothers and sisters.